So one thing you have to do before anything else is prep. So one of these, one of the main parts of preparing the floor to, one of the main parts of preparing the floor to plastering is getting the floor as clean as possible. So this is what I'm doing now. Sweeping the floor, all the dust and the debris as clean as possible. So that it will have a clean surface for the mortar to stick to. So basically what I'm trying to do is just get the floor as clean as possible. So I'm sweeping all this stuff outside where I would come after and where, where we will come and put the stuff in the skip. Let me get it. But what I'm doing is preparing for plastering tomorrow. This is just one of the steps to get good a good bond to the existing concrete. I would put down a, a SBR mixture. That's something like a glue for concrete. So the concrete would adhere to the existing, so the mortar would adhere to the existing concrete because somehow to, somehow concrete tends not to want to bond to other concrete. I don't know why. You have to have a rough surface and still some add mixture to the cement mix to give it that extra bond. So it's a lot of work to be done. They still have to get down this heat. Um, you're not really concentrating for that as yet. But what I'm going to do is put some sand in this area to make it easier to to make it easier to maneuver for tomorrow, so that you won't have to bring all the sand from out there and bring here. We have some sand here. We we'll just carry it in the mixer and then pour it on the floor so that we will get these couple of bites of cement that we have here push off as fast as possible you know in a perfect world everything will be done as fast as you could but that's how it is building with a pocket you have to do things in stages and you have to work with the budget you have at the time. So, just steps, small steps at a time, and sometime you will be finished. <laughs> oh. So, this is this product, uh, concrete bonding as easy as it says on the, on the label. So what I did is just pour some of it from the floor. I was spread out and dab on the floor. This stuff is totally compatible with water. You can also mix this with the mortar mixture itself. Make sure we put a little bit inside to give it a little bit more stickiness so it will adhere to the floor and bond with the with the uh, adhesive that you already put on the floor. This helps the concrete obviously as you see it a bond with the existing concrete surface. So I'm going to pour some of the mixer now and then ad administer some of this some
it's a bit messy. I'm going to let that mix inside the inside the mixer. Then I'm going to pour this mixture off the floor and I left it out. I know things is a bit chaotic here, but I'm actually trying to get this done before the floor is completely dry again. So I'm going to go back to the mixer and start to pour some of this mixture out. Look, I was able to find a picture of the house in its glory days. We found out this house is over a hundred years. A hundred plus. This is a lot of years. So this was the house when it was in its spring. As you have seen, what my husband was able to do and we thank the lord so much that we have come this far not by our might or our power but the power of the holy ghost we are so happy that we have gotten this far now we, we are in stoppage because money ran out so we didn't get to finish the floor as we thought or do the decking so yes this is the last video on the renovation for for a while but thank you for supporting and following us stoppage might be on the house but keep with this channel as my garden is growing so thank you very much for watching and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share. Have a wonderful week ahead.